the Pagani Waira. There's really nothing more to say about it really. Beautiful, beguiling, bewitching, powerful, august, refined. There are even many words to describe it. In GT6, however, I've narrowed this card down to three words. Monstrous, beautiful, and wild. Monstrous, the wire packs especially AMG developed 6 liter twin turbocharged V12 engine turning at 730 horsepower and 812 pound feet of torque. The result is a 0 to 60 time of 3 seconds at a top speed of 230 miles per hour. At least that's what it says on paper. In DT6, however, this is one of the fastest stock supercars in the game. Untuned, it will do 268 miles per hour. Yeah, you heard me. 268 miles per hour. Tune it up. That's a different story. I massively tune this carbon fiber version that you see here, giving it 1232 horsepower and making it 220 kilos lighter than the standard Wira. Its top speed? Over 300 miles per hour. And you can see it there. It's no lie. So, with everyone saying, oh, the Varun is the best supercar in every game, GT6 begs to differ. Beautiful. Need I say more? Just look at the thing. Every piece of instrument in this car is detailed, and in GT6, the car came out brilliantly. Now, of course, Forza fans will say, oh, the wire looks even more detailed in Forza 5, and that's true. It does. But seeing that GT6 pushes the PS3 to its absolute limit, a car as detailed as this on PS3 graphics is seriously breathtaking. Wild. The Wire isn't only faster, lighter, and cheaper than the Veyron, it's better to handle as well. With all that weight difference, the Vira gets round corners faster and has less understeer than the Veyron. However, the car can be tricky. With all that power going straight to its rear wheels, obviously the car will be prone to oversteer. For someone like me it's, who's interested in a no-nonsense car that has the power, the grip, and the stability to shatter track records, this car was a bit frustrating, I'll be honest. However, I will say that the overseer adds a lot of excitement into the car because, let's be honest, cars that just grip and drive, cars that aren't a bit flamboyant with all the driving aids off are a bit boring. To explain what I'm on about, let's head over to Silverson to see why in my driving experience, this car is one of a kind. Right, one lap round Silverstone in the Wira. Let's go. Love this track, love this car. This car is just too tail happy and it's just an exciting thing. But I'm gonna manage to get one lap in. That's good, hopefully. And go. Watch if I don't speak in advance. Gotta concentrate. There you go, 730 horsepower, 6 liter twin turbocharged AMV V12, V and it just tail spins and the wheel spin is just immense. But other than that, for a car with sport tires, it does kind of light. It can get in the corners pretty well. It needs, just needs more traction in those wheels and this is no lag at all no lag in the turbos no lag in the turbos those flaps are doing work too Full throttle here now, on the back straight. And 150, 160, 170 acceleration is immense! That, that's just a danger.
There we go. That was good. Sort of. But yeah. There you have it. This car is dangerous. Yeah, whatever, let me validate it, whatever. This car is a bit dangerous, but it's lovely to look at. And it's just a wild dog. But other than that, oh, I want one in real life. Oh well. Okay, me not lucky might mean many things, but if you weren't convinced of that run, let's head over to Willow Springs to do some further testing. Right now, Willow Springs I know pretty well. Now, load it up a goes here to see how well I drive now to how well I drove back then. And the more I talk, the more slowly I drive. So let's see which car I drove back then. I can't see. Oh, it's myself! I think I'm catching up. I am catching up! That was a bad turn. Get around there in gear three. I call fixing errors? What the heck? I think I might not make it. I made it. Inches though. This car is just really just meh. I love you. But enough with the tell happiness. Please. Please. I'm sorry. Well, there we are. I've run many tests, run many circuits, and the results are clear. The Wara, although wild, is fast. I'd also point out that the turbos do come on strong and there's a lot of wheel spin even on the straights when you're taking off due to the car's immense torque figures. With all that said, the Wara is an instrument of art, power, and agility. It seems the variant is just too big for its bridges to be honest and that's not as good looking either. Okay, I, I will be frank, alright? The 2013 Veyron in its premium form in this game looks pretty damn good. Alright, alright, go ahead, launch the hate missiles, alright, fine. I don't mind them, but I will say this. The Wara looks like it's been designed with God as an art critic. It's just unbelievably detailed. And I honestly do fear about how the Wara Rosa will look because from any angle, I can't really imagine that happening all that well. But Horatio, I put it to you prove me wrong.